Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to math. Before we start on today's concept, let's do a little recap of what we learned last class. So, huh? We were learning something with coordinates, if I'm not mistaken, right? Good. So, something with coordinates, we were learning about, oh, that's right, slope. So, now that we established what we learned last class, remember, we found the slope of two points. So, now that we know the slope, we can actually create a whole equation with those two points. That's today's concept today's step, okay? So today we're taking it one step further. The formula we're going to use today is called slope-intercept form, okay? If you're familiar with it, good. If you're not, that's okay, because we're going to work on it together today. So the formula states that the formula is written as y equals mx plus b. Okay, this is the formula, so make sure you write it down. This formula, make sure you make, uh, make sure that you get really, really familiar with, because this is the foundation of graphing. Okay, so whenever you want to graph, you have to leave it in this state. Okay, so let's get started on today's concept. All right, guys, so remember, now that we have the formula we're going to use for today, we have the equation up on the board as well. So, the basic stuff to this equation is, okay, your m is always your slope. Remember from last class? So your m is your slope. The b at the end is known as the y-intercept. Okay, so we need to find the B in the equation in order to graph this formula, okay? So, the way we're going to find it is, once we have the slope, we can use one of the coordinates from the equation to solve for B, okay? So, Let's start on the example for today. All right, so the example for today is, luckily on this example already gives us the slope, so we don't really have to find it. So the slope equals negative two, but this line we're gonna create, or this equation we're gonna create, passes through the point. 3, comma, 7, okay? That's the point it passes through. The slope is negative 2, okay? So, luckily, it, like I said, it already gives us a slope, so we really don't have to find it in this one. But we still have to find that B, okay? Because we're creating an equation today. So, we can start off by plugging in that S or that slope, into the equation, we have y equals negative 2 parentheses x plus b, okay? Notice that, remember, we have this coordinate, this point, it passes through the, the line. What is the thing we always have to do first? Label it, right? We have to label it, make sure we don't mistake the x and the y. So we have x, the first one, then y, because x comes before y in the alphabet. So it goes first, then y. Now that we have x and y, we can actually plug it in also to the equation. Okay? So we know that y is 7 now, because we labeled the y 7. So we can say 7 equals negative 2 parentheses. We also have an x already. 
because we labeled it, right, in the corner, which is 3. So we have 3 plus B. So it's like a little 6, so let's try it a little better. There we go. All right. So remember, what are we trying to solve for? B, right? Good. So now that we have this part, we can actually start plugging it in. So we have 7. Let's move. You know what? Let's move it down here. We have 7 equals negative 2 times 3. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So negative 6 plus B. Because remember, we still have that B there. Okay? We still have one more step. Because remember, we have to get that B alone. So we have to move the negative 6 to the other, to the other side. So the opposite of negative 6 is plus 6. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So we have plus 6. The 6 is cancel out. So our B equals 7 plus 6 is 13, right? So B equals 13. Now that we have that, we can actually create our equation because we have the slope and we have our B. So now let's combine everything together to make that new equation. All right, guys. So we already solved for B as was already given to us, the slope. So now we're going to put it all together. So we have y, because y, we're going to keep it for now. We're not going to use the coordinate no more. All we're going to use now is just the s and the, and the b, OK? So we have y equals negative 2, because remember, that was our slope, negative 2. So negative 2 x. Remember, is the 13 positive or negative? Positive, right? So plus 13. And that is our answer. So we created an equation. All right, so here's your assignment. All right, guys, so here's the assignment for today. Number one is the slope is 3. And you have a coordinate at 0, 4. OK? So slope of 3, and then your coordinate is 0, 4. For your second one, I want you to combine last class and this class together. So this time, I'm going to give you two coordinates to find the slope. Once you find the slope, pick one of the two coordinates to use for the second part, OK? so. Your points are 3, comma, 2, and your second coordinate is going to be 1, comma, negative 2, okay? So, remember, the first one, the slope point we found for you. This is the corner you're going to use. For the second one, you have to find the slope first from last class. Then you're going to pick one of the two as your coordinate with your slope. Okay? So, don't forget to submit your answers to my email. I'll be here to